Today, I rise in opposition to House Bill 5456. This legislation is entirely unnecessary here in Michigan. We have a system in place that has been working for a quarter of a century. Wayne County handles the bulk of asbestos cases here in Michigan. And the court ordered system works and attorneys on both sides of the issue support it. Now the proponents of this bill have stated that they are trying to prevent double dipping and encourage transparency, but have not shown any evidence that double dipping is a problem in Michigan. And in fact, the current process that was developed by the judge who for a quarter of a century was the judge who handled asbestos cases in the state, stated is already transparent. We are creating a solution for a problem that does not exist in the state of Michigan, the state we serve. The real intention of this bill is to deny access to justice by adding unnecessary time delays to the process. Once diagnosed, victims of asbestos poisoning can be given very little time to live. Every moment is precious. The time delays in this bill will not only make it difficult for those who are sick to make it to trial, they also may not receive justice due them because of a mandatory one-year freeze on the verdict. As elected officials, we are charged with a duty to serve our communities and our residents. And our first responders and veterans, as you've heard earlier, share that same duty. They risk their lives and health every day in the name of keeping us all safe. But they are not the only citizens that we would hurt with this legislation. We cannot forget the people who build our state and help us get to where we want to go. Members of the automobile, train, and building industries are equally affected by asbestos poisoning. And the asbestos issue is not ancient history. Since just as recently as late December of 2017, asbestos was found in some common cosmetic products marketed to little girls and sold at a popular U.S. retailer. And even here in Lansing, the former Senate building has asbestos in it. Let that sink in for a second. As we strive to serve our communities, we should also be committed to fight hard for those who have sacrificed for us and for the vulnerable among us. This legislation is a callous treatment of our hardworking citizens, putting the profits of the corporation that poisoned them ahead of their health and well-being. And by rigging the rules against asbestos victims with this legislation, we could be violating the Equal Protection Clause of both our state and our nation. In the bill, Section 3014.3 creates different standards and rules for victims of asbestos than victims of other products. We cannot judge asbestos victims with a separate standard and claim to uphold the law. We have a duty to make sure that all of our citizens are granted justice equally. Further, this bill limits the role played by a jury and impacts upon a fundamental right protected by Michigan's constitution, the right of trial by jury. Therefore, this bill is in clear and direct violation of Article 1, Section 14, of the Constitution of 1963. There are also significant issues regarding equal protections. That same section of the bill eliminates the current burden of proof on, on defendants in asbestos personal injury cases to prove the elements of negligence and product liability for bankrupt non-parties and creates different standards of asbestos-related torts as opposed to victims of other products and, and substances. The equal protection clauses of both the Michigan and United States constitutions pro uh, provide that no person shall be denied the equal protection of the law. It requires 
that all persons similarly situated be treated alike under the law. By allowing passage of this bill, we violate our oaths and our duties to the people of this state to uphold the Constitution. We also fail to protect the very people that in our governance and stewardship positions, we are supposed to protect. Our Michigan workers risk their lives, their health, and their futures to build our state and get us where we want and need to go. They deserve better. They deserve to be treated with dignity and respect for their service, with dignity and respect for their existence in this state and on this planet with us, which is why I urge all of my colleagues to stand with me in opposition to House Bill 5456. Thank you.